Shiva exorcism prayer. Good day. Let us pray an exorcism prayer to cast out Shiva. Let us cast out the Hindu demon Shiva by the power and grace of Jesus Christ. Shiva is a demon mentioned in the unholy satanic Bible. Shiva is no myth. Don't bow down to Shiva. Bow down to Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Today, let us cast out Hindu demon Shiva in this exorcism. For it is written in the Holy Bible, Mark chapter 1, verse 23 to 26. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, the unclean spirit came out of him. intercession of Jesus Christ. Today I take authority 
over the Hindu demon Shiva. Christians and Jews are not to worship Hindu God Shiva. For the Hindu God Shiva is a devil in disguise. It is written in the Holy Bible. Mark chapter 3 verse 14 to 15. And Jesus Christ ordained twelve that they should be with him and that Jesus Christ might send them forth to preach and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I wear the spiritual armor of Ephesians 6. It is written in the Holy Bible, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wills of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance, supplication for all saints. 
wearing the holy armor of Ephesians 6 by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ I cast Hindu demon Shiva out of my life it is written in the Holy Bible Matthew chapter 10 verse 8 heal the sick cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely ye have received, freely give. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I take authority over the legions of Shiva. I bind Shiva on the hands and feet with the threefold cord of Ecclesiastes. It is written in the Holy Bible. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 12. And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Open wide the gates of heaven and let forth the fire of Elijah to incinerate Shiva from head to toe. Shiva, be consumed with the fire of Elijah. I break Shiva's satanic crown. I destroy Shiva's evil ornaments. I break all Shiva's rings and jewelry. Hindu demon Shiva, it is written. Matthew chapter 16 verse 18. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I cast out Shiva. Get out of my life. Get out of my dreams. I rest in the peace of Christ. Shiva, get out of the parliament. Let my people go. Get out of the entire planet Earth. Let there be light on planet Earth. Humanity rests in the peace of Christ, my Lord. I plead the mighty blood of Jesus Christ on planet Earth. Jehovah, I pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, most glorious Prince of the heavenly armies, God Almighty, most glorious King of the heavenly armies, God Almighty, send Michael the Archangel to battle Shiva, the Hindu demon. Jesus Christ, defend us in our battle against Hindu principalities and powers, against the rulers of this world of darkness, against the spirits of wickedness in the high places, according to Ephesians chapter 6, Verse 12, Jesus Christ, come to the assistance of man whom God has created to his likeness and whom God has redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of Shiva, the devil's Hindu companion. The Holy Church venerates 
Jesus Christ as her guardian and protector. To you, Jesus Christ, the Lord, God has entrusted the souls of the redeemed to be led into heaven. Pray therefore the God of peace to crush Shiva beneath our feet, that Shiva may no longer retain man captive and do injury to the church. We offer our prayers to the Most High God that without delay the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit may draw His mercy down upon us. Take hold of the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, which is the devil, Shiva, and Satan. Bind Satan and Shiva. Cast Satan and Shiva into the bottomless pit that they may no longer seduce the nations. Revelation chapter 20 verse 2 to 3. In the name of Jesus Christ, our God and Lord of Blessed Michael, the Archangel of the Blessed Apostles, Peter and Paul and all the saints, powerful in the holy authority of our ministry, we confidently undertake to repulse the attacks and deceits of the Hindu devil Shiva. God arises. His enemies are scattered and those who hate God flee before God. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven. As wax melts before the fire, so the wicked perish at the presence of God. Behold the cross of the Lord. Flee bands of enemies. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the offspring of David, have conquered. May thy mercy, Lord, descend upon us, as great as our hope in thee. We drive Shiva from us, wherever Shiva may be, unclean spirit, all satanic powers of Shiva, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies, and Hindu sects of Shiva, in the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, may Shiva be snatched away and driven from the church of God and from the souls made to the image and likeness of God and redeemed by the precious blood of the divine land. Most cunning serpent, Shiva 
shall no more dare to deceive the human race, persecute the church, torment God's elect, and sift them as weak. The Most High God commands Shiva, he with whom in Shiva's great insolence, Shiva still claims to be equal. God, who wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the church, according to 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. God the Father commands Shiva. God the Son commands Shiva. God the Holy Ghost commands Shiva. Christ, God's Word made flesh, commands Shiva. God, who to save our race are done through Shiva's envy, humbled himself, becoming obedient, even unto the cross, unto death. According to Philippians chapter 2, verse 8, God, who has built Christ's church on the firm rock and declared that the gates of hell shall not prevail against her because God will dwell with the church all days even to the end of the world according to Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 the sacred sign of the cross commands Shiva as does also the power of the mysteries of the Christian faith. The faith of the holy apostles Peter and Paul and of the other apostles commands Shiva. The blood of Jesus Christ and the precious intercession of all the saints commands Shiva. Thus, cursed dragon and Shiva, diabolical legion, I adjure Shiva by the living God, by the true God, by the holy God, by the God who so loved the world that he gave up his only son, that every soul believing in Christ might not perish but have life everlasting. St. John chapter 3 verse 16 Shiva, stop deceiving human creatures and pouring out to them the poison of eternal damnation. Stop harming the church and hindering her liberty. Be gone, Shiva of Satan, inventor and master of all deceit, enemy of man's salvation. Give place to Christ. In God, Shiva has found none of Shiva's words. Give place to the whole one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church acquired by Christ at the price of his blood. Stoop beneath 
the all-powerful hand of God. Tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus Christ. This name which causes hell to tremble. This name to which the virtues, powers, and dominations of heaven are humbly submissive. This name which the cherubim and seraphim praise unceasingly, repeating, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, the God of hosts. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come unto thee. May the Lord be with me and with my spirit. Let us pray. God of heaven, God of earth, God of angels, God of archangels, God of patriarchs, God of prophets, God of apostles, God of martyrs, God of confessors, God of virgins, God who has power to give life after death and rest after work because there is no other God than thee and there can be no other for God art the creator of all things visible and invisible of God's reign there shall be no end we humbly prostrate ourselves before God's glorious majesty and we beseech God to deliver us by thy power from all the tyranny of the infernal spirits. From their snares, their lies, and their furious wickedness. Deign, O Lord, to grant us thy power, full protection, and to keep us safe and sound. We beseech God through Jesus Christ our Lord from the snares of the devil. Deliver us, O Lord, that Christ's church may serve Christ Jesus in peace and liberty. We beseech God to hear us that Jesus Christ may crush down all enemies of God's church. We beseech God to hear us. I need God. My church and the Holy Spirit every hour of every day. Righteousness is a better way to live than sin. So I pray the prayer 
of St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me a channel of thy peace that where there is hatred I may bring love that where there is wrong I may bring the spirit of forgiveness that where there is discord I may bring harmony that where there is error I may bring truth that where there is doubt I may bring faith that where there is despair, I may bring hope. That where there are shadows, I may bring light. That where there is sadness, I may bring joy that where there is drunkenness I may bring sobriety Lord grant that I may see rather to comfort than to be comforted, to understand, than to be understood, to love, than to be loved. For it is by self forgetting that one finds. It is by forgiving that one is forgiven. It is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. It is written in the Holy Bible. Matthew chapter 5, verse 5 to 13. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of man. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward, but thou when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, 
pray to thy father which is in secret and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard of their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them. For your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask of him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever Amen. In God's holy name, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and power is God's. Emmanuel, God with us, Almighty Savior, forever and ever, God. You are adequate for every need. Jesus Christ, your name is powerful and your power is great. So it is in your excellent name that I pray and believe. By Jesus Christ, my blood, I pray. Amen and Amen.
Sí. 